Hi, this is Dave Phillippe with FabCAD, and a lot of folks, when they're d dimensioning and putting text on a drawing, are doing it in what we call model space. Here's a model tab here at the bottom. But we have these sheets down here, A size, 8.5 by 11, B size, 11 by 17, D is 2 foot by 3 foot, full size. Now, let's click on the A size. So this is a sheet of paper, and what we can do is we can create viewports through this paper to expose the drawing and then dimension it this way and you can do multiple views of the same piece so I'm going to click on the rectangular viewport here and what I'm actually doing is I'm cutting a hole into this piece of paper and exposing the drawing screen behind so now this is like a drawing screen when I click on it I can move it around and I can zoom up I can do it with my wheel up my mouse or do a zoom window and get the gate blown up here like so and then I say well I really would like to have a larger view of this I can click model down here and go to paper and now this viewport which is in paper space I can go ahead and make it a little larger say like so and then s switch back to model and then do a zoom window and that. So what we have now is a drawing, we have drawing screens literally on the sheet of paper. So I'm going to put another drawing screen on this sheet. I'm going to do another rectangular and I'm going to snap here to this point and go to say here like so. And here I can click on and, and put, the, put the cut list up where it's more legible. So I'll do a zoom window and zoom that around like so. And there's my cut list there. Okay, and then I switch back to paper, and I can do another rectangular viewport, and put, say, blow up the spears at the top. So I double click on this viewport here, and I can blow up this area here. So when I switch back to paper, I have, let me regenerate that. I have a blow up of the spears here and then I can also lock there's a little padlock here I can lock the viewport so it doesn't zoom accidentally back to a smaller size and then I have the oh, do the same thing with this one so let me get this exactly right let me tighten this up zoom as tight as I can here make as large an image as I can and then I'm going to lock that viewport click over here and lock this one right there select viewports not locked now it is okay so then I can dimension this in paper space and but to do that I would need to change my style because if I use this, what I have right now if I go linear and I pick this well in in model it's okay but if I'm in paper space and try to do this then what happens I get this huge dimension okay and this so what I want that so what I want to do is I have created other dimension styles one's called paper space okay and I've also done the same thing with leaders I got one called paper and I've also got one here in the text it's called paper all right, so what these are basically just smaller versions of the ones we use in the model. And the reason to do this is that when I do a dimension, for instance, if I dimension, I do a linear dimension and pick this line here. On this viewport, it's a one foot quarter inch. I go down here and I'll dimension it here. you notice that the dimension, the, the text size is the same, even though the viewport is bigger. And so when I go in to do a radius dimension here, say the inside radius of this lower piece here, and I want to show it over here, I go uh, radius dimension over here, you notice that it senses the lines and arcs as if it is in model space okay and then the same thing with the leaders and then for the text I just go in here and do a multi-line text here and this is this is in paper space so
and I just close the text editor here and I can just move this over and I can scale that up if I want. So now we got all these different viewports, cut list and everything else. And then when I go to print this, it's already set up in a layout. So when I preview it, that's what it's going to look like. Everything legible, all of the dimensions created in paper space for the model that we created earlier.